I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shah. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he meant with you? You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. Don't take this personally, but you've gotten strange. I think we both have. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. That's a little dark for a Jedi. I assume your training stopped you from killing me. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. On Odessan, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it. Zakul. Arkan and his knights learned to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. What makes Arkan and his followers so different from Jedi or Sith? Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. Master Satil, that goes against everything you ever taught me. It's the kind of thing Valkorion would say. We are nothing like that man. Darth Mar. Valkorion destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. Is defeating your old master so important that you refuse to die? I have no use for vengeance. My goal remains the same. Defend the Empire. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. I can't decide what's worse. That you went soft, or Satil fell to the dark side. If our roles were reversed, I'd feel the same doubt. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory. All we ask is that you listen with an open mind and learn from our failures. To forge the future, you must first break with the past. Victory over Arkham requires new perspectives and new weapons. 
Follow the will of the Force into the wilderness beyond this camp. Find what we left for you, and meet us in the cave. <laughs>